right? In this video, I want to add the clamping that I referred to in the previous video. So I also want to uncomment our move vector curve just so we have it. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to clamp our turn rotation. We want to clamp the uh, roll and the, uh, what's it called, the yaw. So to see roughly what we're at, let's print these out. So you read log, log temp, warning, text, do yaw, percent F, turn rotation dot yaw. And we're going to get the roll value as well. All right, let's print those, or let's do our live coding and see what we have. So I'm going to move really far left to right and hit escape. So we have some high, like a high value of 14. We would have like a 14 and negative 14. So yeah, there's a negative 16 even. So let's see roughly what a normal value on that aspect would look like. I want it to be about... There is where I want to cut it out. So that is my guess is going to be about... We want to clamp it between 5 and negative 5 for the yaw. So, let's see if fmath can clamp it. Clamp, we get a value, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, that'll work. So we want to clamp the current value, which is going to be our turn rotation dot yaw between negative 5 and positive 5, like so. So then we set our turn rotation dot yaw to equal that. So let's go ahead and live coding and see what it looks like. Now, as you can see, I'm going as fast as I can and it stops itself. So we probably want to actually increase it a little bit because that seems a lot shorter than I initially expected. So let's go between negative seven and positive seven. Yeah, you have to like really whip around to hit it, but it does stop it at, in my opinion, a reasonable locate rotation. Let's go up and down. Let me clear this out and we'll go up and down. So I went up at what I think look kind of good. So we're at like, we're just negative two and positive two. So if we're gonna clamp that between negative three and positive three. It's gonna be the roll. So negative three and positive three. Go ahead and build. There we have kind of the max. I'm actually not even able to really hit that. Hit it. I don't think. Yeah, I am. But I'm kind of at the max for the vertical sway. And then same thing goes. We have everything else kind of in place. So that I'm happy with. Now, one thing we can also do to actually improve this, we're not going to do it in this video. Let's actually remove the logs. Uh, well, one, we want to move this stuff into a function, obviously. But two, I almost want to modify the location for this way as well. So similar to that of how we do the move vector curve, where we are moving and modifying it via our sway location, so we can have a separate vector just for this. I want to make it so when we move left, the weapon kind of moves a tiny bit with it on top of just the rotation. So we may do that as well here in the near future, but for now let's just collapse this down into a function. And we have move vector curve. Let's do void. Uh, let's do rotate or rotation. I have, that is not spotted. Rotation. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's do rotation offset, I guess. Or actually, what would this be even called? We're rotating the gun. I guess rotate with rotation. Screw it, that's a good enough name. Float delta seconds. Create the implementation. And let's go all the way up. We're going to copy all of this. We're going to call it. So it was rotate with rotation, pass in delta seconds. And paste it in. So we should have the working result there as well. So let's retry it. Okay, relaunch all the stuff that we had. And let's look at it. 
Still good to go there. So that's good. Now let's try it with two. I don't know how easily this is going to even be able to be seen. Because of how fast you're moving. I don't even think it's going to be able to even be seen. So honestly, now that I'm kind of thinking about it, this would almost be something to have running only if you own the animation. Uh, if, you, if you own this. So what I'm actually going to do is a native update animation, so that way we can save a little bit performance-wise. We're going to do if character is locally controlled. Then we want to run this portion of code. So eventually, we're probably going to rename this, because I do kind of want to implement that offset with the uh, rotation as well. But for the time being, that's how it's going to be. And this way we can save a little bit of performance because we are only working with additive animation or additive here. So since turn rotation is going to be zero for all of the clients, it's of no concern to us because no matter what, they're not going to be running or they're not going to be adding anything when you turn or look around or anything like that. So we may actually be able to see it if we look up and down since that itself does not rotate. So let's comment this out and just see out of curiosity. Yeah. And that way we can actually see if uh, control rotation, I know it's replicated to the server. Yeah, as you can see, the gun moves up and down like so. Let's try it client-wise. And it doesn't. So that indicates that control rotation is not replicated. It only replicates from the client to the server. So that, instead of using some other form, we are going to leave it. We'll do one final compile, and we are good to go. So we now have our rotation kind of sway clamped off, so we don't have to worry about it going, you know, to an absurd amount, for example. And that's where we're going to leave it. So that's going to be the end of this video, and if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patrons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos, such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.